Hello, my name is Adrian Stevens. This video is about using the checker program to check that an audio file has the right technical characteristics to be accepted by LibriVox. The checker program can be downloaded from this website. I'll put a link in the description. Once you've installed it and opened it, it looks like this. Well, let's create a file to check and see what happens. I'm going to create a file that has got everything wrong with it. It's got the wrong sampling rate. We're going to record in stereo. OK, so let's create a file and see what the checker says about it. The microphone I'm using is a Lavalier microphone which is sitting on my desktop. Oh, by the way, you're hearing me from the Blue Yeti microphone positioned near my face. Let's make a recording. Test, test, one, two, three, four. And we'll listen to that. Test, test, one, two, three, four. Well, it's very quiet. Let's see what the checker program says. So we need to export this as MP3. We'll call it test one. So let's see what this test one is reported on the checker program. We drag it into the top pane and we get a report. And everything in red is a problem with this file. Apart from the top, we can ignore that for the purpose of this test. So it says bit rate should be 128, recording should be in mono, it should be a constant bit rate, the volume is too low, and it's got a high level of background noise. Oh dear. So let's address all of those except the background noise, which we'll cover in another video. So we have this recording, so let's get rid of that and make a mono recording and record again. Test, test, one, two, three, four. Oh, we can see that the amplitude is still low. Let us export this as MP3 and this time we're going to select constant. We're going to select 128 kilobits per second and we're going to force export to mono just in case it was stereo and once we've saved this dialog these settings will persist so let's call this test 2 we'll save that now let's check test 2 it says it's failed we can ignore the top one um, so the only thing now it's complaining about is the volume is outside the target range of 86 to 92. So let's amplify it, aiming for 90. And it says the volume is about 70. So we want to add 20 and a bit dBs of amplification. So let's select the track, effect, amplify. Let's add 20 dBs. Ah, we can see it's got bigger. Good, that's what we expect. And let's export this as test 3. And hopefully we've got rid of that pesky checker, marriage, checker message. <laughs> so let's go and test that. OK, validation. Does not contain any underscores. OK, we can ignore that has a high level of background noise. Hmm. Let's see what it sounds like. Test, test, one, two, three, four. Oh dear, that does sound bad. Yes, there's a high level of background noise and that comes from the fact that I'm not talking into the microphone and it was a cheap $15 microphone anyway. So let's try recording with a better microphone and see what happens.
Let's switch to the Yeti, which is here. Let's monitor it, make sure the recording level is high enough. Touch more, I think. Touch more. Touch more. Testing, testing. Yep, that's about 12 dB is where I like to be. And let's hit the record button. Testing, testing. One, two, three, four. Again, I'll switch this to waveform dBs just to emphasize the noise, and there doesn't appear to be any. Let's listen to it. Testing, testing. One, two, three, four. Well, apart from it being my voice, there's nothing wrong with that. So let's export this and call this test four. Close Audacity. Put test four in there. OK. The file doesn't contain any underscores and the volume level is outside the range. It's a little bit on the low side. So we could amplify that. You can see we're ooh, perhaps about 6 dB is too low. So we could select that track. Effect. Amplify. Add 6 dB. Export this. Let's call it test 5. And try this. And the only thing now it's complaining about is the lack of underscores. I should say in LibriVox you're told what to call a file name according to the author, the chapter number, the part in a reading, and those are separated by the underscores. Uh, so in a normal, if you're following the instructions in LibriVox, you won't see this uh, error either. So we've generated a file that is acceptable to LibriVox. I mentioned that uh, there'll be another video on noise reduction and uh, so we have generated a file that uh, satisfies the checker program. In another video I'll show you how to do noise reduction and I'll also talk about the choice of microphone and why this Lavalier microphone performed a lot less well than the more expensive Blue Yeti microphone in this particular recording. Well, if you enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any suggestions for other recordings, please leave those in the comments. Thank you. Bye-bye.